Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. We have a special bullpen today. We covered an anti-Karen not too long ago on the program. This individual stood up for customers, stood up for employees, and stopped a criminal Karen from assaulting others. She was fired from that establishment for doing so. Let me remind you of the video and then we're going to bring her on the show. Here's the video. Karen in Burger King. to hit my mom and I had to collect her y'all want part two. Here's part two, it won't let me post the full thing so I'll be part three. That particular Karen even attempted to hit somebody with a vehicle afterwards. I have Miss Shanita Foster on the program. She was the manager of that Burger King when all this went down. Uh, Madam, welcome to Disputable. Thank you for being on the program. How are you? Thank you. You reached out to me yeah. um, after we covered this and you said, Doc, uh, I was fired. I was let go from mm -hmm. Burger King because yeah. of this incident. Ms. Yeah. Foster, you are a mother. You are a mother of a beautiful young girl named yeah. Tamia. She's what, almost six years of age. Yep. Uh, this rocked your world in a very negative way. If you would describe what happened on that day. It's something that I've never thought that I would ever deal with ever. I've been in customer service since I was, I want to say since I was like maybe 19. And I never ever experienced anything like that. The, the fact that she actually physically hit me was like over, over breakfast was just, it was just be it was just beyond that. Um, I never even thought that the videos would ever get out or I would ever go viral. Um, as far as like my daughter, it kind of made me want to look at life in a different perspective. Like ever since it came out, um, like I don't, I would always teach her to be a better person, and that just made me realize that I need to go harder. And it makes makes me me makes me feel like I need to try harder with her. Because this world is getting to be really cold, it really is. I want to ask you about some elements not seen on the video. To my okay. understanding, uh, this Karen actually did much, much more damage than what's seen on the video. Yeah. yeah. What What led to the physical altercation that we see in the video when you are trying to get her out of the building? What happened right before that? Um, well, fast forward, this is when you guys actually see the recordings and stuff like that. Because to be honest with you, it, it happened, it was going on about 10 minutes before anybody actually started recording. Okay. And then it just escalated to that. I went behind the counter because as you see, you, you can't really see in the video, but you see that she's doing something. She's actually throwing something behind the counter. And that's what made me want to go behind the counter. Um, when you see her walking up to me and I'm telling her like I'm trying to be compassionate to you, that's when she actually 
smacked me with the bag. Before she was just like just tapping me, just just trying to just like bully me, but she actually physically smacked me with the bag. And when she walked over, there was a group of women sitting there and they were just waiting to get their food like everybody else. They were, they were recording because they saw how how it was getting. And she literally walked up to them and was like, you know, started using profanity and cussing at them. And then she got into the one girl's face and you could tell, you can't see in the video, but she was very young. I wanna say she maybe was about 16 year old. She got in her face and that's when her mother jumped in. And the lady was the lady was trying to fight trying to fight both of them. Like it just, I, I don't even know how it even escalated like that. She was just calling them all types of profanity and then hitting them with the bag. And then she literally went to go swing. And that's when you see me jump in there and that's when I told her, I was like, "Ma'am, you have to, you have to leave. Like, you, you know, you're you're getting to be too violent now. Like, you're you're just taking things to another level. Now you're you're literally going after minors now." This all started because she wanted you all to serve. Um, was it breakfast? Yeah, yeah. And I I offered to serve her breakfast. I what happens is that the resort that or the place that I worked at, we are around a bunch of resorts. So between 10.30 and 11 o'clock, we usually get really swamped for breakfast, even though breakfast ends at 10.30. We can still serve breakfast and I, and I choose to do it. I know a lot of Burger Kings do. And so we run out of food. Well, within 15 minutes, I ran out of everything that we had. I offered to make the food for her, but I told her it would be about a 15, 20 minute wait. And in the meantime, one of my managers actually gave her something. That's why she had the bag to begin with as an inconvenience. And even that wasn't enough for her. How long have you worked? Did you work for Burger King before they let you go? Uh, I would say about a year and four months. Okay. But I did a lot of progress from working in a year and four months. You were um, appointed manager, obviously, because you were responsible and they saw that you had management ability and yep. you were given that post. Yes, I um, was. Why were you fired? What reason did they give you after and after somebody gets physical with you? You engage in self-defense, you protect other customers. Why did they decide to let you go? Well, to be honest with you, Dr. Ritchie, the morning, um, what happened was that incident happened on a Saturday. Okay. So I was off Sunday and Monday. So I came on Tuesday. Tuesday was actually what we would call our inventory day. I actually got there, I wanna say about 7.30. And I actually just left the job at 2.30 in the morning because it was my job to count everything in the store at night so we can do our monthly paperwork. So I came in there and Saw my head manager walked into the office. I did saw like the higher representative that was sitting there. I said hello, and about five minutes later, he walked over to me and he just gave me two sentences. He said that me or he said so and so and human resources reviewed the footage and don't believe that you handled the situation properly. Therefore, you're terminated. That was it. We never sat down. There was never any discussion. It was just literally two sentences. And for the amount of work that I did for them. I felt like I deserved more than that. I, well, I really and you definitely did deserve more than that. And as I said, in my opinion, you were appropriate. You engaged in self-defense and you also protected other customers. Mm -hmm. Once it escalated <clears throat> and it was outside, who is the white male that we see with her? It was that another patron, somebody with her? Who was that person? Well, what happened was is that when we were in the hallway, what you guys see on the video, she she started punching me and I warned her and I and then I, I, I actually grabbed her hair. And then that's what you see me dragging her outside. When she was on the ground, I was actually trying to help her up. I would never had no intentions of hurting this woman at all. I just wanted her to leave. I didn't want her to cause any problems. What happened was is that her husband got out the car and I guess he saw what was going on. And he walked up to me like he wanted to fight, like, like, I, like I was a grown man, hands up, screaming and one of my male employees, well, there was more than that, but one of my older male employees was outside of the incident and he he got into the fight and stand too. It was like, you're not gonna hit her. You're not gonna put your hands on her. You're not gonna touch her. You know, like your wife is out of line, not not her. And you hear me yelling at him because I don't I didn't want him to get in trouble. I, I didn't want it to escalate. Yeah. So <clears throat> here's how I see it, um, sister. Mm -hmm. You have two old white thugs who decided to commit multiple acts of criminality against you and patrons of the establishment. Um, you stood up as a manager, you are the person in charge, buck stops with you. You took control and leadership of the situation. You got rid of the um, threat yeah. and you were punished for getting rid of the threat. You are a single mother, your daughter is almost six years of age. Um, yeah. Talk to us, tell us about your daughter. 
Uh, well, her name is Tamia. Uh, she, she'll be six in October. She actually starts uh, kindergarten in a week. And uh, she's literally like the light of my life. Um, if, I, if I didn't have her, I don't really know where I would be as far as like career wise or anything like that. She's given me a lot of drive. And she makes me want to do a better person, be a better person. And then any person that's ever been around her loves her. She she's like the light in the room. She she comes around. She makes you laugh. She 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 plays with you. She she's she's reminds me a lot of myself when I was younger. And it's just it just just brings me back. Have you considered or been in discussion with an attorney about a wrongful termination suit? To be honest with you, no. But I really been thinking about it. I just didn't know where to go about or who to speak to or anything like that. I've never been in a situation like this ever. So I, I, I really didn't know where to even look for. But I was going to ask you that, you know, if, if you if you believe that there could be some wrongful termination in, in a case like this. I got some people I'm going to recommend you talk to, okay? Uh, okay. Tell us how this has uh, turned your life upside down. Well, I've always been a very private person and I'm all over social media. I've had people text me like that. I don't even have their numbers saved. I'm like, you know, what's going on? Like what, what happened? Um, literally the morning after I, I went to, to the gas station and um, I went to go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. And they just showed me their phone and I was just like, oh my gosh. So now like, and I'm not saying that I'm famous or anything like that, but I live in a small town. So if one person sees it, they all see it. It's it's not just, oh, you could just bypass it or anything like that. The fact that they um, fired you abruptly, mm -hmm. um, what did this do financially for you and your daughter? It set us back. Um, you know, I have goals. I'm a single mom, so you know, I want to buy a house. I I want to live a better life for her. I want to be able to provide for her. Um, it may it's making things rough. It, it really is. You know, I put a lot of heart and soul into that into that establishment, into that business, a lot of hours and stuff like that. And I don't want to call it time wasted, but that's what I kind of feel like right now. It's, it's just you know, I put my heart and soul that, and it, it just all fell apart. And then now, not only financially with school coming and stuff like that, it's just it's making things so much harder, and it's making things so much harder for me to find a job. Um, like I said, like I live in a small town, so going to find a job, like I said, if one person sees the video, every person sees the video, and it's like, how do you just, you you can't always change people's opinions or how people view things. Shanita, I want to say this to you, and I understand exactly what you're saying and where you're coming from. I want to say this, okay? You cannot be limited. Yeah. Nobody is stronger than you. Every barrier that you face, you're strong enough to overcome it. Okay. Um, I see a remarkable, bright, well intentioned, good hearted sister in front of me. That's what I see. Thank you. And there are others that see the exact same thing. So here's what we're going to do, um, Shanita. There's a GoFundMe, and I'm going to read a little bit of the excerpt from the GoFundMe because we're going to help you. Uh, let's put up that graphic. Uh, one part. I'm going to get too emotional reading it, so I'm not going to read it. What I'm going to do <clears throat> is ask those who are watching to go to the GoFundMe. Shanita Foster, you can just put that in GoFundMe.com, go to the um, search. Bar, GoFundMe.com, type in Shanita Foster, S-H-A-N-E-D-A, -E Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R. If you type it in, you're gonna see her and her baby girl right there is gonna be the first one, all right? S-H-A-N-E-D-A, -E last name Foster, F-O-S-T-E-R, at GoFundMe.com, go ahead and do that. All right, Ms. Foster, I'm not a wealthy man, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna give you $1,000 today. Thank you. And I want Thank that to be, it's my pleasure, I wish I could do more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask anyone who's able to match my 1000 to do so. This is the village responding to the negativity that has been done to this one person. We can't keep talking about being better human beings and being compassionate and standing up for each other and being a coalition. If we do not act in moments like this when we see clearly that this woman was done wrong. She stood up for what was right. And she has been railroaded by a major corporation who decided not to give a damn by the fact that she has served them well and served them well on that day also. Uh, so dear sister, those contributions are gonna come in. Um, what I'm going to do is make sure you have my uh, contact information. I do wanna recommend 
some um, attorneys for you to talk to. Um, okay. Some of them may actually be able to practice in your particular state. Okay. But we need to go through a couple of details uh, for that connection to happen. Okay. But before we go, and once again, please contribute to the GoFundMe. Please contribute to the GoFundMe. If you, if you can't do a thousand, that's fine. Just whatever you can do, let's make sure we get this done. Uh, Ms. Foster is uh, a hardworking individual, so this is a temporary setback. She will have a job and be gainfully employed in the very near future. We just want to make sure we help get her over this uh, gap that is taking place in her life. Um, if you would, dear sister, share your last sentiment with those who are watching. Well, I just want to say thank you for every person that's listening or watching because I never thought that my words or my story or anything like that would ever get out. Um, sometimes social media could be really cruel. And I just want to say for every person that's out there that, you know, thank you so much for listening to me and thank you for even taking the time to even hear what I had to say. And I appreciate everybody. Thank we'll you. Pre we appreciate you. And I know sometimes the negative can seem loud. I want you to remember that there are way more people who are rooting for you than are rooting against you. Uh, criticism is gonna come, criticism is the price you pay for leadership. And the day you are unwilling to pay that price is the day you're not qualified to lead. But you ma'am are qualified to lead, which also means you're qualified to take the criticism. Yep. Wear it as a badge of honor, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Dr. All right, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much for your time.